Hello everyone, 66 Games here again with Satisfactory. Today, really quick, I wanted to show off. I hooked up another coal vein. You can see the truck on the bottom left there going back and forth. The coal is hooked up to more coal power plants. They're all going away now, or they're all chugging away. I've also hooked up most of everything up on the, uh, the third level here. And the main goal that I'm going to start now is getting steel production going. We've already got the base steel product, but steel has several different products that are all needing to be made from the same starting product, which I went ahead and hooked up these cargo containers so that while I was doing everything else, the steel would basically fill up completely get my little go-kart out of the way. Now, all of these need to be fed into either constructor or assembler. And I'm going to do the constructor one first. And for now, I'm just going to use one of these for each one. Start with three of these. Constructors. We're going to go with steel beam and then we're going to do steel pipe. Control C and Control V on both of those. And we'll go a couple over here, a couple spots over. the pipes here. So we'll have steel beam, steel pipe. These only require the ingots. But then the third thing that we need, again we'll go a couple spaces over, these I'm going to leave a little bit more space in between since they require more than one ingredient. That way I can do the power in between like that. And then in this one we're going to do a versatile framework, which we're going to need the modular frame from down in level two as well as steel beam which is going to again require steel ingots. We're making the steel ingots over there but I'll go ahead and do three of these constructors so they have their own supply of the steel beams. And I'm going to go ahead and hook all of this stuff up and I'll be back in a minute. And there we have steel beams, steel pipes, and that versatile framework thing. All of them being built. Let's go check out tech wise. I know we need a couple things of the steel. I don't have a whole lot of room, but I can, for now, just drop one of these right here, a little personal storage box and put some of my building materials in there, and I'll grab that momentarily. For now, I want to grab some of the steel stuff, see what research we can knock out. Just grab these versatile frameworks as well. Probably not too many of them. It's almost 50. Most of those things are about 50 or so. So I'll just hang out and wait a minute to have the other two. The next level of the base, I'll start building that. 
and we can start moving all the other things up a little bit. I'm going to do probably a longer live stream where I'll just rebuild the whole base on stream and then show a quick video of what I had done. There's 50 of those. So I don't want to do a four hour regular video just showing me rebuilding the whole base, but after hooking up all of the new stuff down below, when I hit the new logistics thing, I think I'm going to just redesign the bottom two or three levels. The top levels are going to stay the same, but I'll be definitely moving the bigger buildings up here, closer to where I have all of my stock. It shouldn't hurt too much. Probably wouldn't have hurt at all if I wouldn't have jumped. But before I get into this, we have our hard drive ready. We have alternate wire. We can get wire from iron. We have alternate copper alloy. We get 20 copper ingots from iron and copper. And then we also have an alternate rotor which we can make from copper sheets and a ton of screws. I like this alternate alloy ingot. I think when I redesign my base that will be very helpful. Go ahead and select that and back to this one. So we have advanced steel production that'll give us minor mark two and several new things that we'll be able to build. Expanded power infrastructure will give us power storage, big batteries, those are very useful. Power tower, power tower platform, I haven't seen those before. That's something new. Power towers are used to span power lines across great distances. An additional power connector is provided at the bottom of the power tower for connecting with other buildings such as power poles. Interesting. We also have the hyper tubes, those are fun. Helps you get around the base a lot quicker. Logistics Mark III, which is what I want for rebuilding my base. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And feed in the necessary parts and push the button. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. So faster belts, more machines per belt, and bigger storage containers. I'll be able to clean up all of this mess. We're going to have to wait a few minutes before we can do the next research, so I'll be back for that. Bod's coming back. Nice. Alright, so the next tech, we're going to do advanced steel production. I went ahead and grabbed everything that we needed pop all of that in there. We do the wires. We've got 200 rotors, 200 of the steel pipes, and 300 concrete. And push the button. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container, enhanced conveyor belt efficiency, as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. So that first part she said, she just repeated the thing for the logistics accidentally. I don't think that was intended. And I don't think I can find a log. I know there's, I'm pretty sure there's a log of everything that they say, but yeah. So that's just a little bug there. Uh, basically she had said that we had unlocked the new steel stuff. We have the minor mark too. 
the encased industrial beam stator, motor, automated wiring, heavy modular frame. My biggest concern right now is probably going to be the automated wiring. So let's see what we need for that. We're going to need the, the stators and cables. And for those, we need steel pipes and wires, which will be relatively easy to get these going. The same with getting those going. But I think I will focus on that in the next episode because I need to let some of my stuff build up and I need to clean up all of this down here this whole mess probably get rid of these power banks because after eight more minutes is finished I'll probably have enough to do yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this so I can build power storage. So we're not going to need the biomass anymore. We can get rid of those. For now, I'm going to grab these modular frames, and I'll be back in about five minutes of my time, but it'll be instant for you. Well, the pod just returned. Going to go ahead and select the expanded power infrastructure milestone. Turn in the modular frames, steel beams, and the wires. And one more time this episode, push the button. Milestone reached. Pioneers can now store excess power for later use and span power lines across vast distances. Stored power is automatically distributed in cases of low power output. You've got the power. I've got the power. Well, not yet, but I will sometime tonight. I'm going to go ahead and do a live stream, do a couple hours base rebuilding, and then I'll show the, the gist of what I did in the next video. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.